Hey guys, it's March 24th, 2020. Um, we're locked in because of the coronavirus. So I get a lot of questions about people ask me what I'm growing here. So I decided I'd go ahead and make a little video. Um, we'll see if it works. Um, but I'll give you guys a little tour of my garden. Um, I am an amateur gardener, so if you guys have any questions or if I said anything wrong, feel free to post in the comments. Um, I love to learn, so if you guys give me more information or suggestions, I would gladly take them. All right, so we're going to start off with the first tree here. Um, this is my cashew tree. Um, as you can see, there are some buds on this tree this year, so hopefully we are going to get some cashews. Tree's only been in the ground for about a year and a half, two years. Um, this will be the first year that it produces anything. And now we are gonna take a walk over to an orange tree that was here when we got here. It produces mostly sour oranges. However, um, we clean it up. Um, every now and then we get some good oranges from it, but we'll see this year. Now, here is my uh, fiddle-leafed fig. This is one of my wife's plants. It does not produce anything edible. This is my sugar apple tree, and as you can see, it's mostly a stick. It loses its leaves when the weather gets cold, but it is still alive. And we have some buds that are forming on a couple branches, so this tree will be fine. Uh, hopefully we'll get something off it this year. Maybe you might have to wait a year more. And then we're gonna take a little trip into the woods here. And here we have a coconut palm that I planted. Um, I decided I'd try to give it a bit of a microclimate because it likes to have warmer weather. So in here, it's a little bit of a windshield. It does get some sunlight through here as well. So we'll see how it does um, monitoring that. You know, a lot of this stuff is trial and error. This tree right here is a Suriname cherry tree. It was also here when we got here. Um, you can see some of the cherries on it. Um, the cherries on this tree do not taste particularly good. Um, it is not one of the better varieties, I guess. Uh, right here, we have a pomegranate tree. And you can see that we have, we have a couple of young pomegranates on it. So that should be fruitful this year. Here we have a June plum. Now this tree um, was cut back really hard for the winter. It doesn't like the cold, but it has sprouted out nicely. Um, it's got a few buds on there. This tree really likes to produce June, uh, June plums. So hopefully we will have a bunch of them on this tree this year. Here we have a passion fruit vine and it grows all the way up other trees and Hopefully this tree will flower and produce some, or well, this vine will flower and produce some passion fruits this year. Uh, my other passion fruit over there did. I believe that one's a possum purple uh, passion fruit. Uh, here we have a green guava. Um, it's a very young plant, so I don't know if we're gonna get any flowers on it this year, but eventually we will. We have a baby orange tree over here. And we have some elderberry that I scavenged from the woods and it is starting to bloom a little bit there. So it is alive and it will grow. Um, here we have a jackfruit tree. Jackfruit are the largest tree born fruits. Um, they can get over 100 pounds. Um, trees like this will produce jackfruits maybe up to 20 pounds or so. Um, Jackfruit was the inspiration for the flavor of Juicy Fruit Gum. Um, just a little bit of trivia. Here we have a cranberry hibiscus. The leaves and the flowers on that are edible. So once it gets bigger, we will be making salads with that. Some perennial peanut that I've planted um, throughout and that is gonna ultimately be a ground cover. It's gonna grow and spread. We have a coffee plant right here. Uh, here we have a pineapple, more perennial peanut. We have a merengue, moringa tree. It is um, 
still coming back from the winter, so it's mostly just wood right now. We're hoping it'll leaf out pretty soon. Um, let's see. Ah, we have a Jabucha Kaba here. This is an interesting tree. Um, it does produce fruit on its trunk instead of producing it on the ends of the, of the branches. Um, they're like a grape. It's also called a Brazilian grape. Um, they are very tasty. Um, it's one of my favorite trees. It's another Jabucha Kaba right here. Um, over here we have my, my tea area where I have a yerba mate, which is a plant that's really big in Brazil for its tea. You boil the leaves, it makes a really nice tea. I have a traditional or common tea plant here. This is Iboza, which is also something you can boil for tea. And this one here is Java tea, which um, obviously you can boil for tea as well. Now here is a soursop tree, which you can also boil the leaves for tea as well, but it produces a fruit. Um, over here we have some katuk, which is kind of like a leafy green vegetable that um, grows that into like a bush and you can eat the leaves raw or cooked. Um, over here we have another pineapple. We have another jibucha kaba, a young one. Um, we have a little more perennial peanut. We have another sour sop right here. Oh, there's a monarch butterfly just flew in. We have a sour sop right here. This is a pigeon pea tree, and you can see that it's loaded with pigeon peas. Uh, we have some pole beans that I planted around this tree here. Oh, just threw some seeds in the ground to see what would happen. Um, here we have a carambola, or a star fruit tree, that I thought was dead. I transplanted it, and it didn't take the move very well. It lost all its leaves, so I gave it a hard prune, and it looks like it has bounced back. We have some new sprouts growing on it. We did get a, a star fruit from that tree last year, so hopefully it'll bounce back and be productive. We have another carambola. It's a different species. Um, another star fruit tree. Over here we have some cassava, which is starting to sprout and grow. That is gonna grow like a weed eventually. Over here, there is another sour sop tree. I tried to put this one in a little dappled light to see if it would if it would grow better or have a different reaction. Um, we 